Ricardo, we want to, on his behalf, thank all our friends and family and his fans for giving us the last six days to grieve and for giving us that space, including most of the media, and we thank them for that. Ricardo called me 11 days before he left us, and he wanted to thank, had a list of things he wanted to thank me about, and I had a little bit of a disagreement with him because I reminded him that he was my son and that he need, didn't need to thank me that everything we did as parents we do for jo with joy. And, um, and I want to just quickly thank him. And I want to say thank you, Ricardo, for preaching the message of love, unity, and justice in your work and in your life. For bringing our beautiful grandchildren, Jordan and Mike, into our life and your amazing, amazing, amazing wife, Bianca. Thank you for sharing your anger and your heartbreak at the injustice and corruption in our country during our last conversation. I wish it did not drive you to such sadness and such depression. Thank you for the courage in dealing with your addictions in a mature, honest, and public way so that others who face similar problems could benefit and learn and to say that addiction is not a crime, it's an illness. I want to thank you, Ricardo, for coming with me to Zimbabwe in the Underground Solidarity Mission in 2008 when the people of Zimbabwe needed our help. I was so proud of you, but scared so much of your safety at the same time. Thank you for coming to Amsterdam when I was at Greenpeace and spending those long conversations every other night when I was with you. But most of all, the thing that we did together for each other during that time was you helped me to deal, to help me come to terms with my mother's suicide from 40 years ago. And I hope I helped you as well deal with the tragic loss of your dearest father. It means so much to me that you ended up calling your album that you composed in Amsterdam, Family Values. Thank you for, in the last conversation, talking honestly about the struggle that you had, about people putting you out there as a role model, and that you were looking around the scale of the injustices and inequalities and struggling to see how it could meet. You, you also talked about getting rid of things and wanting to make your life more simple, and that the fact that you got attacked on social media for trying to do that. Uh, you said, pups, I'm going to try and scale things down. Bianca and I, the kids, are just fine. And then you jokingly said, but pops, I'm going to scale things down, eh? but I'm not going to be as extreme as you and move to Yeovil. In our last conversation, you also said, mom and I need to help you with your core vision which is to support young people. You are so concerned about young people at risk, but you also want to stop young people to have the same chances that you had to break into music, arts, and culture. Three days after you spoke to me, you put out this tweet. You said, please believe in young people. Give them as many opportunities as they need to prove themselves at any cost. And Mama, I, and the rest of the family will work with your fans to bring this vision to light and ensure that there will be a foundation set up in your name to serve young people in Africa. But of all the things I want to thank you, Ricardo, the main thing I want to thank you was for giving me the opportunity to call you son and hearing you call me pops when you did. 
There are so many things I'm grateful to Ricardo for. I could go on forever. But as you told me on more than one occasion, Ricardo, Mama can say twice as much you can in half the time. So I'm going to hand over to your dear, dearest mum to do that. Thank you, Ricardo. Kiaponga Kukulu Ndole Bua Amagashle Mtanam. Mariki, words no longer have any relevance now. There's nothing to be said at this point. Because, Mariki, you are no longer this or that. You are everything. At this point, you are no longer here or there. You are everything. So, my darling, notwithstanding the lack of relevance of words now, I do want to use some words to satisfy a burning desire in me, and the burning desire is to say thank you. I want to thank you for the opportunity to be your mother. I want to thank you for the lasting lessons that I learned from your vulnerability. And I want you to now rest. I want you to now go and meet with your freedom. We will carry on your legacy. Your beautiful children will be led, will be loved, will be guided in the way that you have already shown us how to. May it be well with you, my son. Lalango Tolo. Ah, Daundo, Bamsanda, Bomakado. Lalango Tolo, Dana.